So today we're going to be talking about content delivery networks. So a content delivery network, or CDN, is a system that we can use to optimize the downloading of static files across the globe. Essentially, a content delivery network is just a network of servers that's optimized for delivering content to the users, hence the name. So in general, a content delivery network will consist of an origin server that holds all of the assets that our users will need access to, and then a number of edge servers that can be distributed around the globe, and those edge servers will cache copies of the content on the origin server closer to the users. Now our users can access these edge servers instead of having to go all the way out to the origin server. And this means that our users will be able to get their content faster because these edge servers are closer to them physically than the origin server. So let's take an example. A common use for a CDN is when we have a web server and we want our users to be able to access the pages on that server quickly. Our web server might be on the east coast of the United States and our client might be on the west coast of the United States or our client could even be in Australia and there's a whole big ocean between our client and the server that they're trying to access. When we're trying transmitting data across the globe overseas, that means that people have had to lay fiber optic cables across the ocean, and there's limited bandwidth through those cables. We also have increased latency due to the amount of time that it takes the signal to transmit through that medium. All in all, this means that our users that are really far away from our web server are going to take a really long time to access their data. So when we're accessing a website, our user is going to first make a request to that web server, and it's going to return some HTML back to our users. But once we've loaded the HTML of our page, there's also tons of other assets that the website's going to need to function properly. Most websites have CSS to style the page, JavaScript to make everything interactive, and also icons and photos that are being displayed on the page. So this means that our users are making tons of requests off to our website, and our web server has to respond with tons of different types of data over the internet. It's really important to note that while the data on the page is changing frequently, this HTML, CSS, JavaScript, icons, and photos, none of that is really changing very frequently. These are all what we consider to be static assets. CDNs are really good at caching these static assets, and they're less good at caching dynamic data since it takes time for data to be updated through a content delivery network. So let's take a look at an example of how a CDN works. So in this example, we have an origin server, so maybe that's our web server from the previous example, and that origin server holds the data that our users need to access. And we also have our users that are trying to access that data, so this could be maybe a web browser in the case of our previous example. Remember, our user and our origin server could be very far away from each other geographically. In order to reduce the latency and involved in this process, we're introducing these edge servers to our CDN. When we start out, our edge servers have no data on them, but the first time we make a request to our service, our edge server is going to notice that it doesn't have the data that our user is looking for, and it's going to proxy the user's request out to the origin server. So for this initial request, our user isn't getting much benefit out of the CDN. However, once our edge server has sent that request out to our origin server, it's going to cache the result from the origin server, and it's going to store that data. So because our user has now already accessed this edge server, we can see that the data that we had stored in our origin server is now also stored on our edge server. Now the next time our user makes a request to our service, we'll have a cache hit because our edge server has the data that the user is looking for, and it can return that data to our user very quickly because it's geographically closer. Now our user is going to keep sending different requests to our edge servers, and our edge server is going to keep getting more data in from our origin servers. Eventually, our edge servers are going to run out of storage space, so when our edge server runs out of storage space, it has to decide which content it's going to remove to make room for the new data. Generally, systems like this would either remove the least recently used data or the least frequently used data. This means that the content that's most important is going to stay cached in our CDN. Another really important consideration with the solution is that content on the origin server can change. While the data is static in nature, we might sometimes want to update our web page, and that would cause data on the origin server to change. However, when our user is accessing our edge server, our edge server now has a stale copy of the data. This means that the data isn't up to date, and the origin server has newer data. There's tons of ways to resolve all this issues, and we won't dig into them too much right now. If you're curious to learn more about how problems like this are solved, you should check out the full video on content delivery networks on interviewpen.com. So there's tons of existing solutions out there that have already built and deployed a content delivery network, and will deal with issues like cache and validation for you. We have services such as CloudFront, or the equivalent services in Google Cloud and Azure, that integrate well with their respective cloud provider storage solutions and other services. If you're already working within these clouds, this can be a really good choice. We also have services such as Cloudflare and Fastly, that pride themselves on making really performant CDNs and offering a vast feature set with things like security and fast purging. And finally, we have solutions like Vercel that are all-in-one solutions that make it really easy to deploy web apps and will cache the data on those web apps behind the scenes on a CDN. Of course, there's tons of other services like these, and I'd absolutely encourage you to check them out if you're curious about this topic. If you enjoyed this video, you can find more content
content like this on interviewpen.com. We have tons of more in-depth system design and data structures and algorithms content for any skill level, along with a full coding environment and an AI teaching assistant. You can also join our Discord, where we're always available to answer any questions you might have. If you or a friend wants to master the fundamentals of software engineering, check us out at interviewpen.com.